How are y'all doing today? What is the goddamn deal? It is, of course, your boy Volandis back with another video. And I am about to leave currently within the next 10 minutes. So I have to make this quick, but um, actually, it's going to be real quick. I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm going to Colorado and I will be shooting with the XE4 while I'm there. I know I did mention and say that I was um, going to take my X100V, but um, this just came in the mail yesterday. So I scratched that, literally threw that plan away, and now I'm taking the XE4 with the pancake, the 27 millimeter uh, pancake lens on this boy, man. So, yes, very excited to test this out in Colorado. I should also, should I bring the X100 V2? Maybe. I might bring the X100 V2. I need to figure it out within like the next five minutes, though. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know yet, but we'll see. But your boy gotta go before I fuck around and miss my flight, though. I'm gonna holla at y'all when I get there, though, and uh, let y'all know how it's going. I might do, you know, do some snowboarding, do some hiking, you know, perfect little not heavy camera to take. I'm also taking my, where is it? Oh, it's already in my bag. Mama Mia RZ67 also bringing that as well, but this is gonna be the main camera while we're there. Don't The RZ is only gonna pop out if something's just like too crazy. Not gotta get it on medium format, but most of the time i don't even think i'm gonna use it think i'm just bringing it just for safety precautions but don't even think i'm gonna bring it i'm also bringing the 16 millimeter lens too for some wide shots um on this camera so i'm all ready to go i'm gonna holla at y'all when i get to colorado though So we are finally in Colorado. Not finally, we've been here for a little bit now, for a day, not even a day, but like a couple, overnight. We're in like this 50s themed home though, low key. Um, when, it's, when it's light later, I'm gonna give y'all the tour. This light really crazy though, but when it's light later, I'm gonna low key give y'all the tour. This is the kitchen. Um, they got like some 1953 facts. It's supposed to be 50s themed. Like they said, um, oh, this calendar right here is from 1953 on um, February. Um, milk is more than a drink. That's crazy. Bro, put your shirt on. Why don't he, <laughs> why don't he have a shirt on? I'm about to get dressed. Why he don't got a, what? <laughs> um, this is her home. And uh, those are the same blinds. The blinds that's in this picture are the same blinds that's over here, bro. Dang, clean this bitch at lick. And I'm going to be shooting with the XE4 while I'm up there on them slopes. I'm also low key has the same like sensor as uh, the XT4 is what I heard. So it can be used for video as well. So I'm gonna film some parts of the video with the XE4. Every part of the video that's filmed with the XE4, I'll let y'all know that this part, of the, that this is XE4 footage. So yeah, anyway, about to finish getting ready, then slide out. Cause we already running late cause niggas like the sleep way too long so um yeah see y'all up on them slopes Movie time. My shit in the back seat. Oh, you get on. Oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead. My little kid look like a fucking ski instructor. Sort of kid ready to go play in the snow. Um. All right. Um. So bad news. Oh, I'm vlogging with the XC4. Bad news though. 
we can't go snowboard nowhere because um we were supposed to purchase snowboarding tickets in advance we're all idiots but look mountains i'm so sick about this bro mountains y'all what they want to do don't tell me what to do close it up man you right The video. Yes, sir. <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> bro? What are you doing? Hug me back, nigga. Both hands. Both hands, nigga. <laughs> A steep grade next six six miles. Steep grade, they some bullshit as well. We got 1.3 miles. So they should yeah. make roads. How about that in the side of roads? Instead of like, yeah, we're just gonna. You know. Yeah, bro, this elevation is crazy. I had to take my, I hit my inhaler like 10 times. Whew, this elevation is crazy. I ain't never been up in the mountains like this. I have in Washington and in like, uh, what you call that? California, but nothing like this though, for real. Dan, how you doing? I'm doing. It's crazy though, they got some sun. Um, I'm low key about to put this up. I took a few pictures, but uh, I don't know. I just don't feel, I don't wanna, you know. All right, y'all, and I am back. I do kind of apologize for the way the vlog kind of ended and just like abruptness of it. But when we was up there uh, snowboarding, I did take a few pictures, nothing too crazy or anything like that. But um, I ended up getting very, very, very sick, like very, very crazy headache. I had altitude sickness. Um, the elevation in Colorado is no joke. The mountain we were snowboarding on, Arapaho, very high, elevation of like 13,000 feet. So something I've never actually experienced also while doing something that's like taking a toll on my body, such as snowboarding. So I got very sick, nauseous, um, headache, couldn't like open my eyebrow it was the worst thing I've I felt in a long time so um I kind of just didn't care about like doing any of the camera stuff anymore I was too sick to even like think about it my breath was very short I couldn't really breathe or anything like that had my inhaler out there had uh you know I thought I was prepared but drank a lot of water ate before I went um you know all the things that you know they tell you to do but you never can really be prepared for something like that if you i live in michigan where the elevation is like a thousand feet and um the highest point isn't even colorado's lowest point yeah bro i'm just not used to it so it really the elevation i would say messed me up but anyway man the xc4 is an incredible camera i'm not going to lie i know i say um all of fuji cameras are incredible cameras but i do very much like this one a lot it might be my favorite fuji camera that i've shot with one because it, it's the small form factor like the x100v but it's the same sensor and like same quality of an image as the xt4 also the video it's not bad. I do very much enjoy the video that comes from this camera. One thing I do want to point out though, I'm not sure if this has um, IBS in body stabilization, but um, some the footage is very shaky. I'm sure it does because I could imagine that it doesn't. I just didn't know how to turn it on or think about really turning it on until I saw the footage later and I was like, oh, this, this is kind of shaky. But so when I shoot with these cameras, I'm not necessarily doing it as a review. I kind of just like to test it out also why while people are watching and give my kind of opinion. So I guess that's a review in a sense, but not like your typical type of review where you go into specs and details about the camera. I'll shoot with a bowl of chicken noodle soup if it took decent pictures and I liked using it because that's all that matters. All the extra stuff within the camera doesn't actually matter when it comes to creating images and telling stories. So I actually don't care about those things too much. It doesn't really matter to me. So I don't necessarily know. And I'm not going to pretend to know that I know any of the specs 
of this camera or most of my cameras that I have. But I will say that I do very much like this camera a lot. Very good camera. And I wish I was keeping it. I wish this, bro, if, if this was my camera, I will actually honestly shoot with it every single day. The thing is with this camera though, is that you can switch it out and put other lenses on it. So when I did have the um, 16 mil on it, it becomes a bigger camera. It's not just like small form factor camera if you put a bigger lens on it. But the good thing is that you can put bigger lenses on it or you can have a small little form factor camera that you can walk around with every single day. So I do like the camera a lot. I do like the images that come from it a lot. And yeah, so all in all, I think the X-C4 is definitely my favorite Fuji camera that I've ever shot with besides like the GFX. But that's like unfair, right? But this camera, very amazing camera. I can't like say enough nice things about it. I do have to send this back. I, I really wish I, I didn't, but you know, you know how the game go. Still not feeling 100%. I'm still kind of messed up, discombobulated from that elevation. It really, that really messed me up, man. Like I feel, I still feel a little bit nauseous, slight headache, just not 100% me yet. My breathing's still a little iffy, but I do feel better to be back in Michigan. <laughs> Anyway, man, that's probably going to wrap it up for me. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, I am not talking to you because you already did what you had to do. I'm going to get up out of here, go lay down, get some rest, drink some water, and do all the things I got to do to make sure I'm feeling better for this week. So let's go do some shit. Y'all go do some shit for me, man. I'm sick. Not COVID sick, but I'm sick. You feel me? You feel me?